Hi everybody, this is Mr. Folly, and welcome to Podcast 1.1, and hopefully my pen will write, and it looks like it's about ready for it, and we are going to learn about the different models, <laughs> the Bohr model and the quantum mechanical model, of course my pen's not writing, um, and we're going to name, describe, and give the location of three subatomic particles in the Bohr and quantum models, you know those protons, neutrons, and electrons. Describe the differences in subatomic particles, protons, neutrons, and electrons, between elements, ions, and isotopes, and give a neutral charge or charged isotope, sorry, given one of those, write the name and symbol, and determine the number of protons, neutrons, and electrons. So let's happy, happy to it, to it. Protons. So you should be writing all this stuff down. Protons. Determine the identity of an atom. Three protons. So if I have three protons, I'm lithium. If I have one proton, I'm hydrogen. And the periodic table, which you got in class today, will help you figure that out. So the whole number all by itself would be the atomic number. So the atomic number is the number of protons. I'll also put down atomic number. That's a number, not a hashtag. Protons are positively charged. The mass of a proton is one atomic mass unit. A proton is found in the nucleus. Remember, there's the middle part, and then there's the rest of it. Um, protons help determine if an atom is radioactive or not. It's not its main thing, but it's the neutrons mostly, but it does have some role in it. Two particles with the same number of protons are called isotopes. So see below. So see this guy right here? Lithium has three protons and six, and a mass of six. This is the mass. Lithium has three protons and a mass of seven. Oh, the same, but different. So all they are is they're a little bit heavier for different ones. But they have the same number of protons. Protons determine your identity. If you have three protons, you're lithium. The rest of it doesn't matter. Um, protons don't change when ions form. Electrons do change when ions form. Electrons. Oh, so much for electrons. Determine the charge and reactivity of particles. So what does an electron do? It determines the charge, am I plus one or minus one, and how reactive it is. Electrons are negatively charged. Electrons are in energy levels, rings, and that's not quite right, but we think of it this way. This is the Bohr model. You should draw this picture. Bohr. And electrons are in rings. This is the second best model. The best model is this one. This is the quantum model. The quantum mechanical model has electrons in clouds. So see these things right here? This is where they are. They're in clouds. Notice how they're not in perfect rings. They're in clouds. Okay. Um, they have no effect on radioactivity. And the mass of an electron is negligible. So what does negligible mean? Well, it means zero-ish. So like everything Zoe ever says. So does Zoe talk in class? Yes. Does anyone listen? No. Does anybody pay attention? No. Is it life-changing? No. It's just blah, 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 blah. Two particles with the same number of electrons might be different things. Okay, so if you have the same number of electrons, they might be different. Remember, protons determines your identity. So neon and F negative have the same number of electrons. It happens to be 10. So F negative, hey, that's Jack's grade. Uh, I thought everybody started with an A. Not everybody. To be negative 1, you gain an electron. That would be one electron. To be negative 2, you gain two electrons. To be positive 1, you lose one electron. To be positive two, you lose two electrons. So whenever you change your charge, you don't change protons, you change electrons. Sox fans, I'm positive, you are a loser. <laughs> so to be positive, you have to lose. Neutrons. Determine the mass and nuclear stability of an atom. Neutral means without a charge. So that means that neutrons are without a charge. Um, in the quantum mechanical no model and Bohr model, they're in the nucleus, and they're really always in the nucleus. Isotopes have the same number of protons, but a different number of neutrons. And neutrons, I put up here, determine the mass. So basically, all neutrons do is say whether you're fat or skinny. Okay. Neutrons do not affect ion formation, and their mass is one atomic mass unit. Isotopic notation. So we're going to figure out right down here... How many protons are in this right here? So protons is this number right here. This is your atomic number. And it's the number of protons. So how many protons for the first one? One. How many neutrons? So this right here is the mass. So you need to know that mass, you need to write this down, equals protons 
plus neutrons. So if my mass is 3, that's going to equal my protons, 1 plus my neutrons. Hmm, 1 plus something is 3, 2. And how many electrons? Well, this doesn't have a charge on it, so it's going to have the same number of protons as electrons, and so that would be 1. I forgot to put a little plus 2 here, so when you copy these down, make sure you put a plus 2. Uranium-235. Okay, so how many protons does uranium have? So I'm going to put these in order, kind of, sort of. How many protons does uranium have? This number right here tells me the protons. Hey, that's 92. How many neutrons? Well, remember, mass is protons plus neutrons. Let's see if my eraser will work. Hey, it does. So if the mass right here is 235, and my protons are 92 plus neutrons. Well, get out your handy-dandy little calculator or do this math yourself, and you will see that it is... Uh, 143, I hope. And then electrons, notice it doesn't have a charge up here, so protons equal electrons, so it would have 92 electrons. Now this one, notice, do put in the plus 2, okay? Do put in that plus 2. So for titanium plus 2, it would have 22 protons. I'll put that in a box because I did that for the other one. 22 protons, and the neutrons would be Neutrons would be mass is 48 equals protons 22 plus something, right? So that would be 46. You can check your calculators if you don't believe me. And then the electrons, notice because it's plus 2, do I have more negative electrons or more positive protons? Well, because it's plus 2, I have more protons. So that would be, that means I have more protons, so I only have 20 electrons. So just to remind you, I did these in order. Protons, neutrons, electrons. So, and this is isotopic notation. You got this over that with a number. Standard notation, so we're going to figure out how many protons, neutrons, and electrons. Carbon-14. Okay, so we have to look at the periodic table that I gave you. So remember, carbon symbol, look up carbon as C. This dash right here is the mass. Remember, the mass number goes on top. That's 14. And if I look at the periodic table, carbon is number 6. So protons for carbon would be 6. Neutrons, mass minus protons, 14 minus 6 is 8. And electrons, no charge here, so we're good. Okay, Rhodium-102, so what I get for picking an element, I don't know. Rhodium is RH. And when I looked up rhodium, and it's RH, I see that it is number 45. So I'm going to go ahead and put its atomic number down here. This dash tells me the mass is 102. Protons, 45. Neutrons, 102 minus 45, ooh, that is 60, not quite 60, that is 57. And electrons is the same because, same as protons, because they don't have a charge. Calcium 41, calcium is Ca. I'm going to look that up to make sure it's not carbon. Calcium is 20 on the bottom. I look at the periodic table, it tells you the atomic number is 20. And this tells me its mass is 41. Notice how this number does not have to match the periodic table. It is whatever it happens to be. Protons, 20. I'm going to go crazy and say my electrons are 20 right away, too. Neutrons, 41 minus 20, 21. Rock on. Ions have a charge. What would be the isotopic notation for sulfur 33 with a minus 2 charge? Best way to do that is to write sulfide dash 33. I'd equals negative. And then if I just put the ion part, it's usually the positive one. Okay. So sulfur dash 33. So I'm going to have S, and then this dash 33 means this is going to be 33. If it has a negative 2 charge, I'll put a 2 here. And I look at the periodic table to see how many protons sulfur has. Do, 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 16. So this bottom number right here is my number of protons, which is 16. My number of neutrons, which is mass minus protons, which is 17. And then electrons, because it's negative, it has more negative, more electrons, more negative electrons than protons, two more. Right? So 18 negatives, 16 positives, that would give me a negative 2. What would be the isotopic notation for strontium 88 with a plus 2 charge? So strontium, look at the periodic tables, SR. When you find strontium, you'll see it's 38. And if it's dash 88, um, if it has a plus 2 charge, protons, 38. Neutrons, 88 minus 38 is 50. And then electrons, 
remember, if it's plus 2, that means I have more protons than electrons. 36. Give the isotopic notation for two different isotopes of aluminum 27. Remember, an isotope means different number of neutrons. So I'm going to start with aluminum 27 and figure out how many I have. Aluminum 27, so its mass is 27 with that dash. Aluminum has 13 protons. So it's going to be the same as I'm going to have aluminum. It'll still have 13 protons, but it'll have a different number of neutrons. And the way I'll show that is with a different mass. 28. Yeah, that's it. Or I could have aluminum, 13, 65. Whoa, that's crazy. Any different mass as long as it has the same number of protons. Give two different ions for bromine-77. OK, so bromine um, has 35 protons. I think I said bromide. Oh, I'm going to give these ions. So I can have it be bromine-77, and it can be negative 1. Hey, how about that? And then I can do the same thing, 77, 35, bromine, plus 1. Now, the only difference here would be protons, still 35, neutrons, 77 minus 35 is 42. Electrons, if it's negative 1, I need to have more electrons, 14. This one's almost exactly the same thing. Protons, still 35. Neutrons, 77 minus 35, still 42. And electrons, if it's plus 1, I need to have fewer electrons than protons, 34. Okay. Notice since this doesn't have a charge, the protons and electrons, protons will be 13 all the time, electrons will be 13 all the time. All right, where is my next slide? Summary. Oh, i got to put back on my creepy song. Um, so know how protons, neutrons, electrons change in ice ions, isotopes, and the Bohr quantum model. Note, only electrons change in models, or whatever that is. Write isotopic notations and know that properties, know the properties of protons, neutrons, and electrons. That's it. Toodles.